Hey guys, it's ACM for short here, and I bring you the next part in the Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door walkthrough. So, what we are doing in this part, we are doing the first few uh, rounds in this little uh, tournament thing that we're going on on uh, Glitz Pit. Um, so, if you don't remember, we did a rank 19. Now, rank 18 now is going to be the KP Koopas, which is actually the Koopa Troopas uh, gang that King K is involved in. Hey dog, it looks like the next match is gonna be against me. Good luck, man. So, um, what you gotta do now is you're gonna fight these uh, Koopas, and so of course you're gonna be waiting for this guy to come in here and alarm you. And once that happens, you're going to uh, go to the battlefield. Now there's gonna be uh, three Koopas. Two of them are groundified, and one of them is winged. So, um, pretty simple. Now both of them need tattling. Um, only two tiles because two of them are the same creatures. But um, once you get into there, uh, they both have 4 HP just like a regular Koopa, except they have one defense, which is one step up compared to the regular Koopa Troopa. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so once uh, once all this good stuff is out of the way, once you finish battling them, they're pretty simple. Like I said, um, 4 HP and one defense. Alright, so now we're going to go on to the um, next place, and um, I'm kind of trying to throw this quickly through this, um, so, you know, it's not too kill over time, and I don't have to stall with unneeded uh, talk and stuff, you know. So here we are. Rank rose to 18. Awesome. Okay, now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, way to hand out a beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? Alright, yeah, you keep wishing, buddy. There won't be a next time, bruh. Alright, so we're gonna go with the, uh... Go and move on to the, uh, next section. And we're gonna move on to number 17, which is the Pokies. Yes, okay, so we're gonna wait out here. Wait for him, of course, blah, 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 blah. And once we go out to the battlefield, these are the Pokies. Now, these are three Pokies. They're all the same species. There's nothing different between all three of them. And you only got to tattle one of them. They have um, four HP maximum, but their attack does three. Now, what's cool about them is when they attack, if you reflect it properly, it'll do three HP to them. So, it's pretty good. And it'll do three HP to you, but if you reflect it properly with your B button, it'll do three to them. So, it's pretty helpful. Not too hard, and of course they're spiky, so you can't hurt them like that. And then zero defense, by the way. All right, next one. Cool, cool, cool. We're going through this quick. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? You just been beating down some poor fools, or what? Looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a bit of your luck. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you that room is absolutely off limits? If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit. Understood? Again, dude. Man, you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring the queen nag in here. Ah, uh, don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolene can take that toot and shove it up her nose. Why don't you always chase that girl anyway, man? You got a little thing for her? Shut up, Kay. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be up. <laughs> He's going right back out. <laughs> he just got in trouble, put back in here, threatened to be banned, and then he goes right back out. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so now we're moving on to rank number 16, which is the Dead Bones. Now there's, uh couple of dry bones from chapter one basically um, from the castles hooktails castle except they're dead bones there's only three of them I think um, I'm not 100 percent sure if I remember correct oh well there's three of them there but okay yeah it's three of them and since we've titled them in chapter one we can we don't have to title them here I'm just gonna do a nice little multi bounce over all three of them now that my boots are upgraded I can kill them in one jump so there we go only one star point like a boss sweat all right so now we're going to go on to the next part. Um, so yeah, yeah, here we go. Um, okay, alright, okay, 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 okay. Should have put this part in fast forward. Man, I heard you knock some blocks off. Not bad, Double G-Dog. 
He's a real deal, man. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you a lip, just tell him King K said to back it off. Biz out. Ah, it hurts. Keep quiet. My foot. Oh, you're fine. Shut up. Apply pressure right there. Ouch. Don't we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip, will ya? Mommy! Out of the way up there. Whoa, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey, man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? Stuff happens. Good to know, King K. I'm glad you told me that. It's so informative. Alright, um, King K was always, like, one of my favorite people when I was playing this game growing up. I don't know why I like him a lot, though. Alright. Going on to the rank 15 people, um, we're going to take them out, and it is the Spike Storm people. Now, these ones are a little frustrating, and um, make sure you abide to these challenges that Grub is giving you, by the way, guys. Remember, he assigns you a challenge um, to do, and it tells you right there when he's telling you on the Game Boy, and then it tells you directly before the match. So, you should be able to take this one out. Now, this one I'm going to fade out after I tattle them, because they're very difficult, and it took me about three minutes to beat them. So I decided to leave that out, but um, my challenge was don't change partners. Now this was very difficult, okay? You gotta tattle both the Spiny and the Lepitu up at the top. Now the Spinies have only 3 HP, but they have 3 defense, so only a power smash will only do 1 damage to them. So it's pretty frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. And um, the Lepitu himself has 5 HP. But you can't jump on him because he has spikes, and Kubella can't jump on him because he has spikes. So I was kind of in a screwed position, so I just ended up using Earth Tremor to finish him off. But like I said, um, those Spinies have two or three HP with three defense, and this Lukatu has five HP with zero defense. So yeah, pretty simple. And um, if you destroy a Spiny, I believe Lukatu replenishes another Spiny down there. So here's where I fade out. Now once you beat him. Um, Great, great, great. It's gonna send us back. Alright. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. Okay, good, 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 good. Hey, man, check this. I heard this hot dog stand outside is getting a new menu item. Yeah, it sounds like some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying that the hot dog would win help you win fights. Oh, a hot dog, man, that will help us win fights, you say. Hmm, hmm. Alright, guys, so we will be earning our Yoshi in the next part now. To whoever was suggesting the Yoshi vote, Yoshi name vote idea thing, I'm sorry I couldn't do this. I already did all the parts and I realized I was supposed to do that. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this part of the walkthrough. That's pretty much all I can say. And, um, yeah, I'm out. Peace!